car is making this noise. Hopefully you can hear it. It's coming from the rear end. guys uh, welcome back to my channel um, I just realized that I never actually did uh, the update or final uh, results on uh, that knocking or growling noise I put a video up uh, probably about four months ago um, my job is pretty demanding on my time so that's why I never really get a chance to consistently put videos up but uh, that should all change uh, in the next couple months and I'll uh, be able to put up a lot more consistent videos and start finishing some of these projects. But this video is really just an update on the uh, 06 Mustang. Um, as uh, as you've seen the video I put up a few days ago that um, the front is crashed and we're going to be doing some upgrades and um, to that and then getting it repainted. So hopefully it, uh, that will be up going pretty soon. I'm still waiting for insurance to get everything paid out. But again this is the update for that growling and knocking noise. So if you saw the video right before I came in um, when driving there was like a real um, weird grinding noise coming from the rear end um, so my particular issue uh, is very specific to uh, one issue comes up so this was if you have this noise this may be one thing to check so it's all back together uh, literally I was testing it uh, for a couple of days and then my car got crashed so um, so I don't you know I'm not going to get under there and and take it all apart to show you uh, there's plenty of videos online showing you how to take out axles um, I might actually put up a couple of videos myself of me kind of just moving around trying to figure things out but for this one it's just gonna be me talking but I do will show you so this is the original axle uh, that was in my car um, and when I did the uh, when I did the gears uh, about a year ago now or so, uh, the original reason why was because there was a um, axle bearing that went out and uh, it started leaking, right? Um, the seal and then the bearing eventually went out uh, from, from the leak. So uh, I was doing the, uh, the bearing and seal and I was like, oh, well, a couple hundred bucks I, I can do, uh, you know, put gears 373s in here. Um, way different story I got to do a video on that um, again there's a lot of videos online about how to do it I'm gonna do it on every mistake that I possibly made and why it cost me um, probably about twelve hundred thirteen hundred dollars at the end of the day because I made every single mistake that you possibly could make um, so that's just uh, another video I need to make uh, so maybe that I hope any guys that are just in the garage trying to figure things out on their own um, but going back to this video sorry I'm just scatterbrained right now um, so the reason why originally this car was taken apart was because I needed to fix that um, rear seal um, axle leak and uh, so I did the gears and what I should have did um, but what I should have did was be, when I pulled the axle out check to see if there are any um, issues at that time with the axle I didn't know and also um, I was doing this like very sparingly. I wasn't doing it all in one day. I would come in the garage, do it a little bit, little bit, and then I was still doing the gears, also learning how to do that. Um, but I'm gonna bring this up close. So once I put everything back together and got the gears together, um, I didn't check the axle. And if you can see this groove right here, hopefully it'll focus in there. You see that groove? That's where the bearing rides. So if I could get this bearing on here real quick so I can show you. So that's where the bearing rides right in between there, right? So with the with the uh, with the seal leaking and eventually causing this bearing to freeze up, um, it started to create that groove within uh, with, with on the axle. So what you had was uh, that growling noise is now you have a lot of play in um, in the tire and this is bouncing so that growling is literally this thing uh, this thing tearing into the metal and creating that groove that I just showed you and now how it's sitting in there um, so 
essentially what I had to do was uh, take the axle out. The actual fix is super easy if you know how uh, to take the axle out of this car. Um, you you uh, just drain your uh, axle fluid, take off your, your rear diff cover, drain the fluid, there's a seat clip. Uh, after you take all your brakes and everything off, uh, you push the axle in, take that seat clip out, uh, slide the, uh, the axle out, uh, replace the bearing and seal if needed. I would suggest to do that. Uh, then just slide it back in. Very simple fix. Um, if you've seen the uh, open box axle that I did before, which was an alloy axle, uh, don't buy that. That was from American Muscle. Uh, it, it was uh, designed short. If you're on American Muscle and you look at the alloy for the 05 to 09 Mustang, there's one guy that did a review on there and it's detailed. It has pictures showing that they uh, they manufactured the axle uh, quarter of an inch too short. It's another reason why this car has been down for over a year because every time I get something, something else goes wrong, but don't buy that. Um, just sidetracked. Uh, other than that, uh, so yeah, that was the ground issue. So so if you had that issue, if you if you had this noise that you heard at the beginning of the video, um, it's coming from your rear end, uh, you may want to check for a rear seal axle leak. You want to check your bearings, and then uh, if if it, you can you can simply grab like when when your car's jacked up, I can literally grab my wheel and just move it, and it was moving you know a quarter of an inch or so. It it had a lot of play, and it's not the brakes moving, it's not the suspension moving. It's literally the wheel just click 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 click. You know what I mean? So um, so I would check that and see if that is your problem. If you get that, you know, if you have the leak, if you have the growling noise. Uh, if you have that play, I would go ahead and pull that axle out and check and see if you uh, if your bearing is now uh, caused a groove within that axle, uh, and hopefully that will be the fix. That was the fix for me. Um, so you know, one issue down, and we're, you know we're working on the rest. Uh, I still have what else do I have to do on this car? Um, uh, I think I'm, I I got to get a shifter in here. Um, there's, there's a bunch of stuff. This video is not about that, but uh, that was just a quick video. I, I know I'm rambling on there, but it was uh, a video I meant to put up a long time ago because I, I did see a lot of people on other people's videos that were just the sound saying, hey, what is this? I had this problem, but I really didn't see any videos about what the actual issue was. So uh, hopefully this helps. Again, this is just all me talking, um, but it, the fix is real simple if you're mechanically inclined um, you know check for the leak check for the play uh, if you have those two go ahead and take off your brakes pull your axle out uh, plenty of videos online uh, on YouTube to show you how to do that um, and then look for that groove within uh, on your axle shaft uh, right where the bearing uh, bearing rides uh, that was my issue maybe that's your issue um, hopefully say maybe it is so then you won't uh, worry about what is causing that noise anyways thank you for checking out my video uh, please subscribe comment uh, if I can help you in any way just leave a comment and if I if I know it I'll tell you if I don't uh, I, I'll just tell you I don't know um, but yeah hopefully we'll get some of these projects going and uh, maybe buy another car thinking about getting an 88 uh, Fox Body Coupe if I can find one cheap enough I do want the four cylinder. That was my very first Mustang, and I really do miss it. So I would like to have uh, an actual 2.3 um, 87 through 93 coupe um, and roll around, and that is my everyday. So we'll see if I can find that. Other than that, uh, have a great day. Appreciate you watching the video. See you later.